Now when it comes to wild edibles, we know that I'm not the biggest fan, but I think if you are going to eat any type of wild edibles, and there are times that it is very viable to eat them, you need to find wild edibles that provide a lot of sustenance. And the fact that you can stand in an area, collect what you need, and collect a lot of it with very little energy expended. In today's sense, what we're going to look at is something right behind me, which is milkweed pods. So here are milkweed pods on a milkweed plant. These grow in disturbed soil areas. You can see what the plant itself, what the leaves look like. And then these pods are very distinctive. If you do break a branch off of the milkweed, you're gonna see it has a white substance that comes out of it, very milky and almost um, latex-like. That's what you're looking for. The pods are very, you're not gonna mix them up with too much other stuff. Now, right now, it is the beginning of August here in Pennsylvania and these pods are ready to be harvested. If you wait too long, and they start to crack open they're not good you want to get them when they're young and when you take these pods off you want to take one or two and test them break them open and if they're all white inside like this okay there's no brown that means that they are ready to eat so I can stand just in this small section and probably fill up my haversack quite quickly so I'm gonna to start to collect these I'm just gonna break them off like that you're gonna see a little bit of that milky substance come out but we're gonna show you how we take care of that in a few seconds here I'm gonna collect these and head back into camp and then we're gonna cook them up what you're gonna need for this project is milkweed pods oil eggs flour and some pots and pans. After gathering our milkweed pods, we want to bring water to the boil. Drop the milkweed pods in the boiling water and allow them to cook for approximately three minutes. Now don't be shocked or surprised if they hiss or pop a little bit, that's normal. Remember, they're a closed pod. Once they are done boiling for two to three minutes, we can then remove them from the water and quench them with cool water to stop the cooking process. Next, we're going to put a little bit of oil in a pan over the fire and allow it to start to heat up. While that oil is heating up, we're going to place flour and one beaten egg in two separate pans. Take the milkweed pods and roll them in egg and then in flour, and then we can place them in the hot oil. Cook the milkweeds in the hot oil and allow them to brown. Once they're brown, you can take them out of the oil and they are ready to eat. So the milkweed pods are all fried up. They get nice and crisp and golden brown. If you eat them right away, I mean, they are, they're still almost crunchy. So if you want to grab one mm -hmm. and uh, you got to watch, there might be a little bit of liquid inside. But... Now it looks like cheese come out, but that's just part of milkweed. Right, good crazy. It's almost like a jalapeno popper without the cheese and out yeah. the spice, but that's like the texture of it. If you eat yeah. a jalapeno popper, right? Yeah. Awesome. So, so, temperature hot. Yeah, I watched it. <laughs> I think the moral of this story is that, you know, as far as for wild edibles go, if you can get something with a lot of sustenance that you can collect a lot, bring it back to camp and actually make a meal. I mean, if you had 20 of these and you had some flour and egg, now of yeah. course you have flour and egg on them. I mean, that's a pretty good meal. Like you, you can at least feel full and um, I never look nutritionally, but I'm sure you're getting some carbohydrate from this um, and some nutrients. So uh, definitely something that's viable. But on the flip side, they're just good to eat. I mean, if you would spice these up, you could really probably do something good like- oh, Like paprika? Or, yeah, or like some yeah, red pepper flakes. Red pepper flakes? Uh-huh. Yeah. So uh, they're really, really good. For guys that don't like vegetables, they're good. Oh, it's me, I hate vegetables. So that's it. Uh, wow. Milkweed pods, give it a shot. Tell us what you think. Until the next video, stay in the woods and eat your milkweed pods. <laughs>